I mean, the first series was incredible. And uh, for you going into it, knowing the success of the back of the first series and how much people loved it, how brilliant the writing was, was it a gift or was it a bit scary to go into something like that? It was, it was terrifying. It was really daunting, actually. Um, having been such a fan of the first series, to be sent the scripts was was fantastic, you know, I was so enthused to read it and, uh, and really excited to meet Sally Wainwright and, and go up for it. But then when I was offered the role, it was suddenly uh, that feeling of <laughs> intense pressure yeah. sort of, you know, came over me and I was sort of very, very nervous. But um, it was really fun. Everyone on the, on the set was, was brilliant. Well, also knowing that when you go into something like that, you're also going to have to explain the look which we sh should explain <laughs> yeah, it's now. There, isn't it? Yeah, um, Yeah. OK, so, I mean, I actually happened to be doing uh, Ripper Street at the same time, yeah. which I'm filming at the minute. Um, and so I got onto set for Happy Valley and I was like, I'm really sorry, guys, I'm kind of stuck with this Victorian moustache and sideburn. <laughs> you know, Sean's, Sean's had a very, very interesting life. Um, he's sort of... It, when, when we're trying to create the character, Sally, um, you know, writes very vivid... Um, stuff for us anyway and she's got all these characters in her mind and um, so it's really interesting to pick her brain and try and figure out exactly what makes these these characters tick and why they do what they do and whatnot and we sort of together created this kind of backstory for for, for Sean um, and you know he's been in and out of care and he's never really had much going for him in his life no one's really cared for him mm. um, and because of that he he bottles a lot of emotions up and and he drinks a lot and and when you when you combine those those two um, it just creates a bit of a tinderbox well at the moment there's a lot of evidence against him that yes. the police have got almost it seems too easy to convict him of this things that aren't don't seem quite what they seem somehow I mean that's understandable you know we're still we've still got you know two episodes to go exactly. um, but we're gonna have there's gonna be quite a lot of Revelations, a lot of blackouts in his memory, and um, and that's why we had to try and piece together this jigsaw. Well, his van happened. was identified. There's hair in the back of the van, which sort of links him to the crimes. But as you just said, there are two episodes to go. So you know, all right, he's been arrested. You think that was that, but of course it's not that because there are two episodes. To I go. mean, it doesn't look good, does it? Um, but not we'll um, <laughs> for for Sean. But you know, the way that Sally writes these things, she's she's going to keep everyone guessing right up until the till the last it's moment. It's a great cast. Yeah, well, oh God, the cast is amazing. Sarah, uh, it's it's just brilliant. Sarah Lanka, she's just amazing, obviously. Yeah, and you yeah. worked, oh, excuse me, you worked with her before, haven't you? I did uh, about twenty years ago on um, Where the Heart Is, uh, which was one of the sort of the first few things I did as a kid, and she was one of the nurses. How old in were you that. then? Uh, I would have been six or seven, I think. Oh I was back in. Yeah. Was Siobhan Finner in that as she well? She played my mother in it. Yeah, oh yeah. So I was sort reunited of... for, with both of them. Absolutely. Then, Coming back onto Happy Valley, knowing, having seen the first series, they were both in it, thinking, we're not going to remember me 20 years later. Um, Siobhan came and knocked on my trailer the first day and was saying that she'd been sort of following my career. And then uh, we met up with Sarah, and it was just a really bizarre kind of reunion, but fantastic. What made you get into it at six? Because that seems very young. Uh, I started when I was five. Uh, it was my brother. My brother's an actor, Anthony Lewis, and um, he'd been acting for a couple of years. And I just sort of grew up on film and TV sets because my mum had to chaperone him and look after me as well. And um, I used to nag his agent to see if I could do it. And um, she got so sick of me nagging that she sent me for an audition at five for a bit of experience and I ended up getting, getting the part.